Greetings games and welcome to part 4 of this uh, level 44 to 46 leveling guide where I finish off my Patu's herbalism quest so that I can get my um, level 2 Akunda's Bite. And in the last video we just turned in our quest to Patu and he was going to give us another quest. Giving back to nature. Perform one additional task and I will give you knowledge you seek. The seeds you have are strong, but they need time until they are ready to grow. However, one must always be prepared in the desert. This sapling is mature enough to live on its own, but it is frail. It needs the dry desert winds to build static so it may bite, but until it does, it is as helpless as grass. Plant it in the desert sands near the fallen beasts south of the brine basin and protect it until it can defend itself. Plant the Akunda's bite sapling and defend it until it builds a static charge. And then I'll receive Akunda's bite rank 2, which will increase the productivity Not of my gathering. everything in the ocean is as good looking or nice mannered as I am. So guess what? We are trekking all the way back. So this is why Akunda's Bite is probably worth a bit more than your average herbs in this region because for Alliance players they have to come all the way to Zandalar. Then they have to come all the way out into the middle of nowhere to the Herbalism Trainer. And then the distance between the Herbalism Trainer and the place to do the quests is miles away. So this can explain why Akunda's Bite is, is rarer on the Alliance Auction House than on the Horde Auction House, and why Alliance players may end up paying a premium for Akunda's Bite. So if you are gold farming, it might actually be worth doing these quests. something first. Is that a rare spawn? It is. I wonder if he'll drop anything nice.
That was disappointing. Never mind. Hey, at least there's an Akunda's bike here. Right, let's go find this uh, dead animal that we're supposed to plant the Akunda's bite at. The map says it's over in this direction. Give up on trying to clear the area. I'm just going to run straight there, otherwise we'll be here all day. But at least I got some grizzly trophies. Oh, another Rakunda's bite. Now, is this skeleton the thing that I'm looking at? Is this the dead animal carcass that I need to find? Let's clear this area and then try and plant the seed and see what happens. I don't have a target. I can indeed plant the seed, so yes, this is the right place. Oops. Oh well, I've just made myself uh, a little bit more challenging than I expected, but pretty sure it's nothing I can't handle. Okay, that was a little bit hairy, but uh, we did it, and that's the important thing. So let's uh, get back to Patu. Greetings, sir and or ma'am. Giving back to nature. Your efforts have been instrumental in maintaining the balance in this land. Really? I just planted one lousy seed. 
Now I shall reward you with the knowledge you sought. But first, when you approach the flower, what do you do? Patu nods as you explain your current knowledge of harvesting Akunda's bite. Hmm, it seems that you do not know the value of this plant's leaves. The bulb discharges on touch, which will kill the leaves if they are still attached. Harvest the leaves first, and your yield shall be greater. Okay, now theoretically I should be able to Hearthstone back to Boralis and turn in the quest on the ship, but I'm worried that it won't like that. Uh, I think that might glitch out the quest. So what I'm going to do is fly all the way back to uh, Nazmir and turn in my quest uh, as I should do, and uh, take the... Um, boat back to the uh, Boralis and then turn it in that way so that the quest knows that I've done what I should do in the right order. But obviously my journey back to the flight path will be distracted by whatever resources I come across. Be good. And that updated my quest, so I can just turn Soldier. it in to help the wormbane. 
Return to Baralus. The lands of Nazmir are cruel to all who enter, but for Vought victory shall stand firm in the face of danger. Well done, Gilgamesh. By the might of the Alliance, our enemies see only defeat. Okay, the next quest is called The Final Foothold, but I think we'll pick that up in a subsequent video. Our work has just begun. My troops seem to be ready to pick up. And let's see if there's any more missions for me to do. And there is. Bilgewater Sabotage. Ah, oh, now if I put those troops down, that cancels the buff, but it takes my success chance right down. That's... that's not good. So, I'm going to have to leave the... Uh, that guy's buff as unchallenged, I think, in order to increase my mission success chance. It's the troops that are causing me the trouble. So, I've got to remove them. Let's, uh, that already gives me 115 chance of success, but let's put John J. Keenan in there as well. 140 chance of success and sizable amount of gold. Nice. Okay, I think that's all I can do here. So, I reckon it's time to go back to Ironforge and sort out my inventory. The Horde will fall. Yeah, I already decided I wasn't going to take that. Okay. To Ironforge.
Okay, I think um, there's not a lot else to do with this video today. Uh, in the next video, uh, I'll probably end up going back to um, Zandalar and do that final foothold. And hopefully I'll remember to talk about transmogrification as well. And in that case, I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I'll leave you with finishing off the inventory management. And I'll see you in the next video. I have many lucky doos uh, you like. Farewell, friend of the Grumble. Here they are. Oh, that reminds me, I really need to look at those um, treasure maps as well. Okay. Watch your back. Again, that's probably another job for another video. So, from me, Big Fat Hairy Gamer, have a good one. <laughs>